don't twist scripture to fit your little, you know what, just, just go. Seriously, go. You're the reason why Christians are getting their, their butts handed to them. You want to be going to love the world so much? Then go love them. Again, bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. You scripture twisting Jezebel. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. Well, it turns out that the cult of Rich Pankowski uh, is getting pretty rec restless. I'll put it that way. Uh, it seems that when I came out with, with those five videos about two months ago, uh, Rubio Keenan exposing Rich Pankowski and his wickedness seems that I started the bees, ne bees nest up a little bit and now the cult of Rich Pankowski is throwing a little hissy fit uh, desperately trying to you know throw out personal attacks and trying to discredit it never actually dealing with the rebuke typical of them uh, so let me, let, me, let me just show you this. this this is just really funny you're gonna you're gonna love this oh you know people always come out with these little funny videos about me I mean I have a, I have a playlist on my channel uh, just full of videos, these little funny videos people come out come out with exposing me. But you're gonna love this. So Rich Pankowski, uh, about two months ago, apparently like a day after I made my videos, uh, I, I did five back-to-back -back videos exposing this uh, wicked devil. Uh, apparently like a day after that, he comes out with this live stream, uh, going attacking me basically, or partially attacking me, and. You're gonna love this. He doesn't even he play, he plays like a five second clip. You're just gonna watch how he tr how he tries to accuse me of being a Pharisee, but then he unknowingly proves me right. I mean, you, you, you can't make this stuff up. Okay, just watch this. Actually, let me let me turn up the volume a little bit. But I'm gonna show you how he literally tries to pin me as a Pharisee, but then he unknowingly proves himself right, proves my point right in the video. You can't you, like you just can't make this stuff up. Okay, you're gonna love this. Watch. The devil likes to, to play with people. The devil likes to admit who he is. I'm going to show you something here of somebody who says what a Pharisee is, who literally does the things that he claims Pharisees do and then claims on a Pharisee. So, again, I, I really hate doing this because these guys will literally sit in their computer screen and, and masturbate in their own heads at, hey, he saw my video or he saw my post or whatever it is. It, uh, you notice this too, Rich Pankowski loves making a lot of sexual type jokes, especially sodomite type jokes. I'm telling you, I've said this before in other videos, Rich Pankowski is probably the gayest person that I've ever seen on YouTube. I mean, seriously, this guy would fit into San Francisco so well, it's crazy. But anyway, continuing on, this, I mean, this just can't make this stuff up. Because that's what these guys do. But just watch this. And pay attention here for a second. Because I think you're going to get a kick out of this. Lying and wait for him. And, see and, that, and then watch, watch as he plays like a five second clip. Doesn't actually deal with the whole video. And then unknowingly proves me right. Okay, watch this. To catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. Looking for any little slip up and be like, aha, aha, all right, I have seen it. That's what Pharisees do. You look for any little slip up you make and try to blow now, it. Now, notice my point, okay? I said Pharisees will look for any slip up you make and they'll, they'll, they'll jump on that and go, actually, let me just show you the scripture that I, I was referencing uh, just to prove my point. Luke chapter 11, verses 53 to 54. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes, talking about Jesus, you know, he's saying these things, and the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently and to provoke him to speak of many things, lying in wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. Okay, that's my point. I was saying that Pharisees, what they do is they look for any little thing you say wrong, any slip up you make, and just jump on that. And then the other scripture I was, was uh, pointing out is, uh, where was it? It was, I think it was in Psalms 35. Psalm 35. Oh, my cat wants in. Uh, where was it? I'm trying to find the exact verse. Sorry, my cat uh, wants in. Let me just let him in. All right, sorry about that interruption. Having a cat is uh, can be fun, but a lot of work at the same time. So it, uh, one sec. Here's the scripture I was was pointing out. So this is one I was going to reference. Uh, Psalms 35 verse 21. 
Yet they opened their mouth wide against. Yet they opened their mouth wide against me and said, "Aha, aha! All right, I have seen it." Okay, backing up my point about Pharisees in Luke chapter eleven, verse fifty-three to fifty-four. Okay, so watch as he just proves my point right. You know, th you know, Rich, I do appreciate you proving me right. Thank you very much. Okay, watch this. Put out proportion. Next, Pharisees are self-righteous and want to justify themselves in the sight of men, lying in wait for. No! Him. So here you have somebody who claims to be a Christian telling you what a Pharisee does and then show and literally does what Pharisees do. And, and you'll see that, you know, my stalker. Now, uh, he just proved me right. Okay. My point was, is that Pharisees will, will hone in on a certain point or a certain little thing you say and make a big issue out of that. You know, that, that was part of what I was trying to make my point was. They'll look for any point and be like, aha, aha, or I have seen it, you know. That's what he's doing right here. So he's claiming I'm doing that. Meanwhile, he's doing that. So he, once, so again, thank you for proving my point, Rich. You're a Pharisee. I mean, this guy is such a clown. You can't, you can't make this stuff up. You just can't do it. It's all right there in your face. Uh, this guy, the cult of Rich Pankowski is running scared. Let's continue. Uh, his post up there because this is his protege, if you will. Same obsessive narcissistic okay i'm not eric's protege okay eric is a saved brother in christ i i do believe so um i don't agree with him on everything doctrinally but uh he is saved i, I agree with him on a lot of stuff just a few things i, I would probably differ with him on you know for example the whole pre-trib rapture I, I am pre-trib but you know it's a very minor issue okay rich Benkowski, on the other hand uh he is described in proverbs chapter 6 verses 6 to uh, 16 to 19 let's go there and the thing is, like you know, no two Christian, no two Christians will agree a hundred percent on everything. That's just uh, a fact. Okay. Uh, Proverbs chapter six, verses sixteen to nineteen. This is Rich Pankowski right here. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him: a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false wit false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Rich Pankowski ticks all those boxes. He has a proud look. He's constantly boasting about, oh, we got Drag Queen Story Hour shut down. We got this shut down. We we uh, we helped churches get we helped open churches in Tennessee. Look what us. Look what we're doing. He's got a proud look, a lying tongue. You know that Facebook page he made about Eric Love, uh, trying to portray him as a homosexual. A lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. He's leading souls to hell with them. That that is you know shedding innocent blood. Heart that divides the wicked imaginations. Again, making a fake YouTube channel, fake uh, laughing about a fake Facebook page about Eric Love. Yeah, heart that divides the wicked imagination, missions, and also feet that be swift and running to mischief. Same thing. A false witness that speaketh lies. You know, at one part of the video, he he calls me a homosexual and says I look like, says I look like a praying mantis. Um, this guy knows nothing about me, but yet he somehow knows I'm a homosexual. You know, I, I I've done many videos, uh, ripping on sodomites. You know. But again, think about Rich Pankowski is that anyone who goes against him is, just, is basically a homosexual, a sodomite, a pervert, basically. But again, you look at Rich Pankowski, he's probably the gayest person I've ever seen ever. I mean, like like you see that one video where he's talking about, oh, I'll let you come on me right now and I'll, I'll sit back or whatever. I mean, the guy is is a, a is, is really gay, really, really a pervy. I'll put it that way. He that so with discord among brethren. Yeah, that's Pankowski as well. He takes all the boxes there. So he's, he's describing Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 to 19. You know, that's simple. He's also, guys like this are also described in uh, Psalms 10, verses three, uh, 2 to 7, and also Jeremiah chapter 6, verses 28 to 30. You can go look those passages up yourself. But this guy, again, the cult of Pinkowski is all scared and, and because they don't like it. Here's the thing. Okay, let me, let me just play a bit more of this video, then I'm going to get to my uh, closing point. Just to labor my point, elaborate on my point that... This guy is a Pharisee. He does not like having his wickedness revealed. Lying, slandering spirit. They're yeah, kind of like you have, Rich. 
it, like seriously, he's he's shooting himself in the foot. Tell me why, and this is why I love talking about this because these are the uh, right exposed. Uh, you know, again, they, they use terms hoping to get people. It's but also to a proud look. He won't take any kind of correction to what he's got a proud look. So again, he also is further again keep proving my point that he's described in Proverbs six verses sixteen to nineteen. So again, thank you for for proving my point, Rich. Because the only thing they know about me, and, and this is what's so stupid about these guys, is they don't get the fact that I post things knowing they're watching. I post things on purpose sometimes just because I know that they're going to say something about it. So wait a second, you're, you're th throwing a hissy fit and whining about me making videos about you, but then you just admit that you're, you're doing it purposely. You're, like there are times where you'll purposely do things knowing they're going to make a video. So wait a second, let me, let me just get this straight, Rich. Uh, Rich Pankowski, and by the way, too, Rich is a fitting name considering he's clearly in this for the money. I uh, won't get into that too much, but so here, let me get this straight. He purposely makes video. He purposely, purposely says things to get people to make videos on him. Essentially, he just admits to that. But then when someone makes a video on him, here he is whining about that. Because I, I made five videos on him, and he's whining about that. Uh, Rich, if you're wanting people to make videos on you, maybe don't be surprised when they make videos on you, Rich. If you're, if you're, if you're, okay, maybe not wanting, I, I don't want to, you see, I'm not like him. I'm not going to falsely accuse him, but if you're, if you're doing it to get people to make videos on you, don't be surprised when they make videos on you, Rich. I mean, seriously, I think the devils in this guy are just, uh, making him so confused. He doesn't know he's contradicting his own statements. The guy is a clown. Okay, let's continue. They think I don't know how to use Facebook, that if I want to make posts, friends only, so they can't... Well, you certainly don't know how to type on Facebook, considering all the grammar and spelling errors you got. I mean, seriously, this guy boasts about how, oh, I know I know English and, and he... Or, sorry, I know Greek and Hebrew so much. It's very possible he seems to know Greek and Hebrew better than English, considering all the, all the, the, the blatant grammar errors he has. I mean, the guy types like a kindergartner. The guy types like some guy who's drunk or on drugs. It's nuts. Again, the guy is prideful, so I said that just to kind of... When someone's prideful and arrogant like that, you always got to just kick down their pride. That simple. But anyway, continuing on with this uh, Pharisee Rich Pankowski. Said I can't do that? I do that all the time. But I know they're watching. And I say and do things sometimes so that they expose themselves for the obsessive narcissistic Pharisees that they are. But these are not Christians. So, again, he admits, oh, I do it because they're exposed themselves. So then don't be surprised when someone, someone makes a video on you, uh, Pinkowski. I mean, this guy is just a clown. But he, I, want, I want to just, just uh, br briefly go over this scripture. Because here's why I do videos on Pinkowski. And the same reason why I do videos on Steven Anderson or, or Brian Dillinger or all those other guys. John chapter 3, verses 19 to 21. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Right there. For every, uh, Verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be approved. Now I understand the light is Jesus Christ. But you can apply this, you can compare it with Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. They don't like having the works of darkness reproved. They don't like having their darkness revealed. Verse 21. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Okay. Uh, Pekowski does not like having his darkness revealed. Why? Because he is prideful and he is a, a child of Satan. And I think a psyop too. Me, mostly is the, the Reuben Israel, uh, Pinkowski, all those guys. I just think there's some kind of Jesuit Vatican psyop. Because you look at the gospel they preach, it lines up perfectly with Rome. It lines up perfectly with the Jesuits and, and the, the Vatican. So I, I do, I mean, they, they may preach against Catholics on, out on the streets, but in terms of their gospel, in terms of how they act, they behave just like Jes just like Jesuits and Papists. So that's why I call them street Papists, because they're, they're just, they're just closeted uh, Roman Catholics. That's all they are, closet Jesuits. So anyway, uh, these guys, uh, they're too prideful to take correction. And why? Because again, they don't like having their darkness revealed. That's simple. And again, I, I, I go into the whole PSYOP thing. Uh, that could be another whole, whole other video of itself. So anyway, don't be deceived by uh, Rich Pankowski, Warriors for Antichrist. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I was a womanizer.
I was, I, you know, I was a drug addict. I did drugs. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I hurt women. I lied to them. I slept with everybody and their brother. 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 I, Mark, I, I'll, I'll, I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother.